Welcome back to Food Fun and Talks and here's an easy fish roll recipe. So dust out your pans and let's get cooking. Starting with our dough, into a big bowl of 500 grams of flour, add a teaspoon of yeast, a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. Add an egg and gently mix all this up. Add about 2 tablespoons of butter or margarine and incorporate with the flour. This is a slightly sweet dough, but you can skip the sugar altogether if you don't want it to be slightly sweet. until our dough comes together and can form a bowl. So you don't want to add all your butter at once or you want to add it little by little so you don't add too much water. This is going to take you a lot of argument. For if you have a mixer, you can use attachment to shape it tasty but if you don't you can use your hands and here is our dough all formed with all the flour incorporated with the water and we're going to set this at the side while we make our egg. Into a hot pan add a drizzle of oil oil we want to fry some onions and Now we are just going to dump our fish into the pan. I'm using a mix of canned sardine and canned mackerel. Break this up, drain the oil and set aside. We also have to let this cook down a bit so you can spread it all up into a flat dish and let this cook down to room temperature. Dusting our surface with a little bit of flour because we want to roll out our dough and assemble our fish fry. We are going to knead a bit just to break the dough. To make it easier to roll up, we're going to cut it into little sections and it's going to reduce the armor. Mm -hmm. 
you want to roll your dough into a bag. Just not to in a sheet and also not to thick because you are going to roll the dough up by itself. So you have to roll to about half an inch thick. Also while rolling you don't want to see any little holes in your dough so you want to get everything nice, smooth and consistent. Now I'm just trimming the edges to make it a little easy to roll on top of each other and time to assess it. You don't seal it, your fish roll is going to open up while you grab. Next, I'm going to cut this all up into bite size or this is going to be bite size because this is going to pop up while it's dry. Now, I'm frying this in a medium to medium low heat to ensure it's cooked stiff. You can see it is really easy to go, so you want this to cook all the way through. And this will take about 5 to 10 minutes to finish. guys simple yet delicious thanks for watching hope we see you in our next video also don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button make sure you tag us on our social media links down below if you try our recipe bye